Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Graces. Yeah, you might think, oh, oh, didn't you just finish this game? Yeah, I did. But, there's a catch. We're going to do Lineage and Legacies, which is the extra story mode of this game. Basically, um, it's the future arc. And that's pretty much all I really have to say. It's basically continuing off where the game left off. But, basically, there's just big story after that. So that's what we're going to do. It's, it's reasonably shorter than the main arc of the game. But I thought I'd go ahead and do it, just so I don't leave this LP on a sour note. Because it didn't end as well as it should have. So that's what we're going to do. With that being said, we are now going to start this, and we were going to watch the opening cutscene. It's already been a year since my father died. There are lots of flowers. I think just about everyone in Lawn brought some here. There's still much for me to learn as a lord, but I'll do my best. Just as my father did. Rest in peace, Dad. Are you sad, Asbel? No. I'm actually all right. All people die. Maybe tomorrow, maybe years from now, but it happens to everyone, and I understand that now. All people must die, eventually. But still, I can't help having regrets. I wish we would have talked more. I wish he could see what Hubert and I have become. So I guess I'm sad about that. What will you do when everyone else is dead? <gasps> Sophie? Uh -huh. Is something wrong? Did you just see... I must have been dreaming. I've never heard of anyone dreaming while they're still wide awake. Sounds like you were out late last night. Come on, let's go back. You probably just need a nap or something. Don't know what that was, but I guess we're about to find out later on. Alright, so... Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> For people that were watching this, I did grind before the final fight, but I don't think anybody really noticed. Um, 
But yeah, the recommended level is like 65 or something, but I ended up being like grinding a little bit because I was getting my titles up and stuff. So yeah. Um, hey, ain't that kind of a coincidence? My title is Lord of Lawn, and that's basically where, where I, what I am right now. But anyway, I just I, I just find that hilarious. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, we got a new costume for Sophie. She's Toast of the Town, which is actually her newest her new costume, which I'm probably gonna actually keep on her because I love how adorable she is on this in this costume. Um, yep. Uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna go classic this time, actually. Go the original costume. Why not? Wouldn't hurt to do it. Alright. And... Uh, that'd be it. That'd be the end of that. Hey, look! A cat. Just meow. There are two cats. I just didn't... I didn't realize that was a cat there. I thought that was just... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just my TV. Alright, let's go back to the manor then. Do, 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 do. Hey, there's a chest over here I never got. Let's grab that. Hey, Anoka plushie. Nice. That's good stuff. Alrighty, back to the manor we go. Let's not dilly dolly, let's get some stuff. Dead. It can't be helped, Sophie. Their time was just up. Can't be helped. Don't worry. We took great care of them. And they left lots of seeds. They'll bloom again next year. Asbel, I was wondering... There you are, Asbel. You're not getting away from me today. Hello, Mom. Huh, <sighs> not this again. You're nearly 20 years old. It's time for you to start thinking about marriage. Look, I keep telling you, it's too soon. Oh, nonsense. Isn't that nonsense, Frederick? Lady Carey is most correct, Master Asbel. You must find a wife to bear you a child, so that the family name might live on. I know, I know all that. If you really knew, I wouldn't be forced to keep reminding you, would I? And yet you seem to find one excuse after another. Look, it's just... You already have multiple offers to choose from. Why not find a girl you like, and at least meet with her? Master Asbel! What is it? Those monsters are attacking the Eastern High Road. Please, come quickly. Right. We're on our way. Alrighty. There's no more else we could say other than just going to Eastern High Road, which is just this way. I think this way. Hey, look, monsters. Eh, I guess we can fight them. That wouldn't hurt. Granted, we are already over-leveled. Hold on. Strategy, leader's target. Oh, you're fine. I don't Though I probably should have filled up my, uh, thingy. I just noticed she has Pascal's move. When she went scattering shot. Ninjaing all those moves, huh, Sophie? Good stuff. Not much experience. <laughs> yeah, let's go back and fill up our elf mixer. Uh, well, you definitely don't need all this. Eh, might as well just, you know, do it for more experience. Let's see. Increases it. Why not? Uh, crablets. Let's see. 
guess we'll just put Borscht down, I guess. Um, your health capacity, which is fine, and I will... Um, let's see... Um... Hmm. What's that one? Let's see. Uh... Do I already... No. Alright, whatever. We'll just, uh... on. I wasted too much time there. I'm gonna go back and get my alpha. Do you have any items? I doubt you do, but yeah, you definitely don't. You have shit all. Alright. I could do a lies, but that'd be pointless. Uh... Well, for now, at least. Clear core, we can sell all these. Look at all the money we have, I just realized that. We have an insane amount of money. Alright. Let's not worry about dualizing, and... We'll, we'll do that stuff later. Let's actually just continue on with the main stuff. Man, it feels like ages since I've been able to fill up my, uh, elf. Elf. I say elf like it's a friggin' inanimate object, like in Santa's workshop. Alright. Look for monsters. It's just... Just says right here. Oh, that's right, I have to kill all the monsters here, I think. Damn it, man. Okay, Stupid monsters. I don't need any more gold. I have too much money. Alright. Using that move, I don't see why you reason why you used it, but I guess because it's, uh, oh, got petrified. Do you want to use a Penencia bottle or on me? Thank you. There. Is that all we have to do is kill the monsters? Oh no. There's people over here. Let's go save them. Hero comes to save it today. We've got this. Let's go! Just the two of us, but we can do this. These enemies are not too hard. Like I said, this... this this uh 
stories about maybe like 10 hours long. Or that might be an exaggeration. Probably like 20. I know it's reasonably shorter than the main arc though, so... It's a, it's a fun little story mode to do though. Come on, man. I just wish I had my team. <laughs> I need the A team in this, man. Where's Mr. D and all those other cool guys? Just going to be a pain in the ass all day, aren't you? Just teleporting around, thinking you're all cool. Uh, you're gonna be a dickhead all game. I know you are. Yeah, screw you. Jerk face. You saved my life. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine, but the soldiers... Bailey, can your men take him back to Lant? Right away, sir. These monsters have become more active of late. I know. Each week seems to bring more of them. I was hoping they died down for good. Increase security on the high roads. We can't afford for anyone else to be hurt. Yes, my lord. I hope this is the last of it. Come on, Sophie. Let's go back. Something wrong? Okay then. Alright. I'm gonna save our game here. I don't think I'm gonna end this video off right yet, though. We do have to go back to Lawn. Maybe we'll catch up with the others. Soon, at least. Not gonna make any promises. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. Hey, you know what? Let's cheat. <laughs> there. I'm gonna go back to the manor. That's what it's telling us, so... Let's do that. Yeah? What is it? Are you going to die too? Am I... what? Will you go away forever, like your father did? If I protect you, will that keep you alive? Oh, that's... Thanks, Sophie. But dying is something you can't do much about. I could catch some disease or trip and fall down the stairs or anything, you know? Even if I live a long life, my time's still going to end eventually. But you don't have to worry. That's probably decades away. But that's nothing. Not when time passes so quickly. It wasn't so long ago that you used to be shorter than me. And you were a much slower runner than you are now. But I'm still the same. I haven't changed in years. Is it because I'm different from everyone? Will I be left behind because I'm not human? Sophie. I'm 
I'm sorry, Asbel. I'll see you at home. Man, something's wrong with Sophie. Was it because of that thing that told her that? She just changed so drastically, she's just worried about everyone dying. I do not wish to pry, Lord Asbel, but did you and Sophie have a fight? She fled straight to her room the moment she came home. Sophie. Oh, and this arrived while you were out. It's from King Richard. Could you get Bailey for me, Frederick? Right away, sir. What did it say? It's about the recent increase in monster attacks. Apparently the same thing is happening in Windor, Strata, and Fendel. Then it's worse than we thought. Looks like it. Do you have a plan, sir? Richard thinks he's found one of the monster's nests. He's convinced all three countries to join forces and destroy it. So the letter was a request for your assistance? Yes, which means I'll be leaving Lont for a while. Then I wish you safe travels, Lord Asbel. I will watch over things in your absence. Thank you, Bailey. I'll head for the capital tomorrow. Understood. Will you be taking Sophie with you, Master Asbel? I'd like to, but... I'm not sure how she's feeling. Of course, we get to hear that little jingle. It's kind of like Junus in uh, Persona 4, though less upbeat. All right, anyway, we got a skit here, and I'll have to end off this video, and then we'll... Uh, continue this next time. <sighs> Alright, I guess it's finally time that I go clean up my desk. Might as well take a look at these marriage proposals mom left behind as well. At least I can tell her later that I looked through them. Let's see, Anise Tatlin, 13 years old. She's just a kid. But that's funny, she kind of reminds me of Sheria when she was that age. Hmm, what about this one? Natalie Fletcher, 19 years old, nurturing and responsible, enjoys caring for orphan children. Hey, that sounds like something Sheria would do. Huh. I don't know. This doesn't feel right for some reason. He seems to have Sheria on his mind a lot. Alright, anyway. Oh, chest. Ooh. I'll take that. <laughs> anyway. I'll see you next time, guys, for another episode of Lineage and Legacies. Or, actually, I should just say Tales of Graces, Lineage and Legacies, a.k.a. the Future Arc. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time for another episode. And, yeah, I'm out.